Hello everybody, here's Ahmed Nasser uh, from Stereo 007 at YouTube. In this tutorial I just want to show you how you can put an access database inside your project. Uh, so sometimes you need to work with a flying database. I mean you don't need server, and configuration, all that stuff. You just want to put uh, an offline database like access database, SDF database. In this example uh, this video I just want to show you how you can do that so first thing I need you to download uh, data builder so if you click on this data builder this is uh, an awesome tool that let you to make uh, MDF files so if you come here and say create database okay you select the area C and put the name here data base so and hit execute after that you go to the folder uh, so I, I went to see database here I see can see the database okay so I just double click on the database and uh, create a new table so it's don't tell me how to create a table it's easy you just go to create and create a table here and you just save that so I just inserted some values inside the, this uh, table and just save it and exit the database okay after that I just copy this uh okay so you know just copy it and go to uh visual studio i just have created a new project so i have this project and just drag and drop uh a data grid view here so drag and drop and this is an empty data grid view okay and also I just come to the project here and paste the database okay just paste it so I, I can see the database here so in order to make sure that you have the connection to this database okay all you need to do is just go to the uh, to the the server explorer here and uh, the server explorer you can make a new connection add connection okay so you can change uh, here you just change access database you can put here browse and pick the database so I have already pasted database select OK and then click OK next next and you, you got the database here so if I go to this database I can see the customer table so it has an ID name address so you, you can you know drag and drop this table but since I have a grid view here you know I need to work with a with a separate layer uh, so I in addition for that after creating database the connection you go to create a new class I call it Cal DAO and this DAO is just basically uh, gonna take the data from database data access layer for database so here we have a system the link the we imported all all database or all OLE database data configuration okay we made a new method this method return data table uh, okay inside here I just created uh, the string configuration manager connection string I get the connection string from the app config file so if you come to the app config file here you can see the connection string you just copy this okay you just copy the connection string name okay and um, you just paste it inside the configuration manager connection string so okay nothing fancy here as you can see here so we make a SQL statement select all the customer and make the connection okay set the connection string to the connection string for the all LEDB connection and open the connection close the connection between the open and close the eggs we just make a new data set and we fill the data set here uh, with SQL with the OLDB adapter so we say new OLDB adapter SQL the connection give the SQL connection we fill the data set and we return table 0 which is a data table uh, and after that I go to the form double click in the form load uh, here DAO the D equal new DAO I just fill the the DAO with the method the method name is D and it's return data table so I just get that method D and fill it with a data source so every time as you can see when we run the program we just unload we fill the data grid view source with the data table so this is pretty much how you work with offline database it's not complicated 
all you need to download is a uh, is a nice tool uh, or uh, you know small tools called data builder database builder uh, this is the download link Mediafire uh, 14D 9TP 5WC K 6S 1D 9 so please guys uh, any question any difficulty you know I am here for help okay I'm here to help you uh, don't forget to subscribe please uh, put comments and uh, okay uh, thank you I just appreciate you watching uh, thank you again for watching and see you in the next uh, tutorial thank you